in this lecture so we are going to learn about some functions in string dot h so what we are going to do is write our own implementation of these functions that will help us in understanding pointers and in learning about how to write precise string library functions so here the question is write your own implementation of strcpy and strcpy is used for copying a uh, string that is stored in source to the memory in destination so we want to copy string source to string destination so let's see how to do that so basically one example will be let's say that if we have source is equal to a b c d then destination should also have the same thing okay so it should also have a b c d so version 1 we will see so let's see so our aim is that we know that strings are nothing but they are character arrays which ends with a slash 0 okay so let's say that i write i n d i a as source is that so okay so source will be i n d i a and a slash 0 okay in the end and now we have let's say the destination so destination we make it equal to what care destination let's say what we make it so india has five letter string length so we should be able to accommodate slash zero in it so let's say i define it to be a lengthier string cat dst 10 so i have one two three four five six 7, 8, 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, what happens now? I will have to copy here in this one. So, I, N, D, I, A. And then a slash 0. Which means I have ended the string. Okay. So, how it is done? So, our version 1. Let's see. And then we will see some of the problems. So, char star my string cpy char star destination this one so this is destination pointing here so dst 0 1 2 3 4 5 and this is source okay so this is source pointing here 0 1 2 3 4 so what happens is what i do is while sti while star dst plus plus is equal to star src plus plus so we continue so this is a very precise way of writing assignment okay so what happens is while so this is actually so star dst so dst is a cat pointer it is here initially so now what happens so i will copy in it star dst means the value here at zero dst zero and it will be equal to star src src zero is i so i is copied here and then what happens now this pointer is incremented and we go to this place similarly source now is incremented i come here so now again i do star dst is equal to star src so n is copied from this place to this place again the pointers are incremented it comes to 2 dst2 and it comes here to src2 and this goes and every time there is also a check dst star dst becomes equal to star source and then what happens this is not equal to slash zero is also implied here because this is something like dst is star dst is not equal to slash zero is also implied and finally when we come here so this is assigned here and then it becomes till it is not equal to this one then only it is done but the copying of the last slash zero is done here then only it is checked after that it comes out of the while loop so let's see this is very fine okay so this will do your work most of the time 
but this code has some problems and let's try to see what are those problems one thing so let's see we have very limited memory okay let's say so i have something like here so i n d i a and then slash zero now let's number these okay so this memory locations let's say it was one two three four five six and i have only memory in my computer 10 memory location let's say and let's say this was source and my destination is from so even though it has six memories but it is using some of the overlapping memories so it is starting from let's say three four five six seven and eight so now what happens so dst starts from three here so it will be now overwriting some places of this so i will be copied then what will happen when i have source and this is destination so now actually something was written here so three there was a d here then i then a was there in five and then a slash zero okay but what will happen now if it is overlapping is you will see now what happens here start dst will become equal to star source so i will be assigned here and this i gets assigned at this place also okay so this is the problem then what happens it goes to this 2 and now star dst is assigned star source so n is assigned here at this place so now basically n is also assigned because these two memories are same so now it comes to sources now at the third location destination is at fifth location so now an i is again assigned here and this is also assigned at this place okay so now source moves to four destination moves to six and it overrides six and it will write n here and what will happen so it will be an n here at six and n here at six so now this slash zero is also overwritten and there will be now an infinite loop because that while loop will now not end because it was waiting for a slash zero okay so these are the problems which we face in my string copy of the version if we don't have a overlapping problem is there and there is also a buffer overflow problem that we are not checking that okay destination let's say if it was assigned only five memory locations and if the word in source was 100 then it will be overflowing because it is not checking for destination end okay so these are the problems so we will try a next version of our string copy which is my strcpy now i make a const char star src so while star destination plus plus is equal to star src plus plus is the same but only thing is that if because the source is now a const so you cannot make changes in the const memory location okay so this is the thing and then what and if we try to expand this code this was very precise but let's say we write it in a manner like while src star src is not equal to slash zero which means still i am not at the end of source so i will copy star destination is equal to star source i increment destination and source so this way but again buffer overflow problem can be there because i'm not checking the end of destination so one thing that we do for strncpy what we do is that we give a size for the buffer destination and we can do while n minus minus is greater than zero start destination is equal to star source plus plus so again you have to check all these things but this is the most general way of writing so this one is the most general way of writing a string copy function okay so i hope you understand this video and the implementation of string copy and its problems associated with it hope you like it and if you like it please subscribe to my youtube channel and share it among your friends. Thanks a lot.